Hey guys, it's me again, Giovanni Piacentini, with a mini lesson. Uh, one thing that I find very important uh, for beginners and also more advanced students is to be able to identify the notes on the fretboard. Now, this may sound very obvious. You obviously want to know which notes you're playing on the fretboard, but the guitar is laid out in a way that is anything but obvious. Uh, it's actually quite challenging to be able to quickly recognize uh, you know, random notes if I were to play them on the fretboard, especially around this area. It's kind of a gray area for guitarists where we sort of struggle to to remember what notes we're, we're playing and what notes are on the fretboard. So one way that I like to practice this is using scales. So we're gonna use a C major scale to start. And the way I do it is the following. So we play C major just um, uh, all the way to G. So C, D, E, F, G. I like to say the notes as I play them and maybe even sing them. C, D, E, F, G. And then the guitar is an instrument where many times uh, you can play the same notes in different places on the fretboard. So let's see if we can find another place where we can play this, this little uh, five note scale. C, D, E, F, G. Well, we know we have another C here, so maybe we can do C, D, E, F, G up here as well. So now that we know that we can play that in both places, I go back and forth and I play C, and where's the other C? Right here, C, D, what's the other D? D, E, what's the other D? E, D, F, F, G, G. And this way, the brain is gonna start to recognize patterns and be like, oh wait, if I play this pattern here, D, E, F, G, C, D, E, F, G. Then this is actually the same for every key. So I can play a D major scale as well. D, E, F sharp, G, A. And I can find it here too. D, E, F sharp, G, A. And that's great. Plus, another great thing about this is that, for example, with the C major scale, two of the notes in the C major scale are actually open strings, the D and the G. So we can play with that combination as well and maybe play C, open D, E, F, open G. And we can even go up to the C. A, B is another open string, C. And it sounds especially nice if we play up here. So I could play the C major scale using open strings. It would sound like this. C, D, open, C, open, D, E, F, open, G, A, open, B, C. So if we were to play the whole octave, it would be... See how nice that sounds up here? Same here. So um, I hope that this little exercise helps you to better identify the notes on the fretboard, which is essential, especially when you're learning longer pieces and you're figuring out ways of playing things in different parts of the fretboard. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more.